first turn, Wuppenden's there. Martin Vasilik working hard alongside him. Here comes Bartosz Smarzlik now, chopping back. Oh, Bartosz Smarzlik, here he comes. Oh, where did he get that from? You can't do that. That's not allowed. That was fantastic from Bartosz Smarzlik, who was red on in qualifying. And that move was simply stunning off the first corner on the opening lap. Uh, he timed that to absolute perfection. If Ty Wuffenden had moved over, taken up all the track, which he's quite entitled to do, that could have got very nasty at the end of a very long straight. And now Kai Huckenberg looking to try and make a move up the inside on Vasilik, but there's no room there. He's working hard. Now Vasilik up the inside of Wuffenden. Martin Vasilik coming on strong in third place, you're right, Chris. Martin Smarzlik cleared off, but Vasilik now switching to the outside. Wuffenden is under all sorts of pressure. He hasn't got enough speed. Vasilik is there working hard. Wuffenden's going to have to really grit his teeth here down the back straight for the final time. Smarzlik, after the perfect move on the opening lap, is absolutely blown away out in front. Easy as you like, the world champion. He releases them now, and look at them go, Simon Wozniak, what a start from him, he gets a shove from Smarzlik, here comes Holder, switching back to the inside, smart move from Jack Holder, needed to do that, it's Wozniak, oh, he had to duck under Holder's handlebars to make that move, gone very, very wide, Holder's trying to respond, but Wozniak, oh my goodness gracious me, repeated it down the start and finish straight, now here comes Smarzlik back up the inside, Wozniak, that's a sensational bit of speedway from Wozniak. Uh, Smarzik doesn't know where he's coming from next. That is a brilliant couple of laps from uh, Wozniak there. Absolutely superb stuff. Really caught Smarzik unaware. He just didn't know where he was coming from. And Jack Holder, the hoodoo is broken now for gate four. He's in third place. Well, Simon Wozniak, he's never ridden better in a speedway race. That was extraordinary stuff from him. He's into the last lap, and Bartosz Smarzlik had no answer. He took him by surprise. He made the similar move on both straights early in the race. And Wozniak is going to pick up a brilliant win here in his second outing. Heat number five is going to get tied. Here comes Smarzlik up the inside. Closing, closing, not enough. Takes up. We're into the first corner and it's Smarzlik. Smarzlik's made a lovely start. Doyle has elected to go very wide in the first corner. He's vulnerable coming off the corner and he's been relegated to the back. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Elbows just, in. Just, just the commitment you expect to see from Jason Doyle. I thought he'd gone to the back. He's coming on strong. Smarzlik's out in front looking for another win. But look at Doyle going second place. He's coming on strong again. Oh. Smarzlik once again for the second time tonight. He's under an awful lot of pressure. Can Jason Doyle, unbeaten so far, find a way past? Smarzlik is covering everything he's got. But look how close Jason Doyle is. And I tell you what, he's making Smarzlik change lines and panic a little bit. What a race it is. Bartosz Smarzlik not having it all his own way here. He's having to ride a little bit more defensively than he would like. Doyle's running high and wide. They're into the last lap. Smarzlik's got a bit of room. And uh, breathing space, rather. And Doyle have put a lot of pressure on mid-race, just slipping back with Smarzlik, just pulling away a touch in the last couple of laps. Smashing Speedway, top straw Speedway once again. Smarzlik on to eight points. Here we go. Three lights on, take up. Lazorn's made a great start. Tight into the first corner. Smarzik's gone very wide. Freddie Lingman's following him through. Bladorn's got away nicely here. Hits the front, but look oh, at that. Smarzik, wow. Round the outside. Freddie's put... Oh, Leon Madsen very nearly running into Norrit Bladorn there. But Bartosz Smarzlik out of gate number three. Can he be the first one to win the race from there? Well, I had a feeling that this is what we look. Look at uh, Freddie Lingman now generating speed around the outside. As you said, Kelvin, you wouldn't put it past him to win a race here, even though it won't be enough for him. But I think Smarzlik's got this one sewn up. Bike seems to be working a little bit better than it has done in the earlier heats. He's not coming under the pressure that he did. No, well, this is disappointment for Leon Madsen, though. He's out the back. Oh, he's trying up the inside of Norrit Bladorn, forcing his way into third place. That is absolutely vital. A lap to go for the world champion. He's looking good. He's going to move on to... At 12 points and lead the, uh, the Grand Prix at the conclusion of heat number 19. Freddie now coming under pressure from Leon Madsen. But uh, not been the night that Freddie was looking for. But Bartosz Smarzlik back to winning ways. It's semi-final one. Oh, long pause. 
Kazakh's made a lovely jump. He gets to the first turn, elects to go right round the inside. Doyle's gone wide and gone nowhere. Here we come, Mickelson coming off the first turn, but Leon Madsen now up the inside. Oh, that was strong from uh, Bartosz Marslik. They're queuing up behind him. The two Danes are swapping places for fun. Leon Madsen and Mickelson. Mickelson takes Madsen wide. Madsen ready beautifully trying to get back up the inside. I tell you what, the two Danes are taking no prisoners here. They are elbow to elbow, giving each other a really hard time. I suspect that Mickelson now will have the speed. He's had good speed all night. Smarzik, meanwhile, checking out out front. All oh, skating across the corner there. Madsen's yeah. going to have a run. Madsen coming at it. Bit of disappointment for Doyle. Some sort of problem. Here comes Madsen up the inside. Desperately trying to get in the second place and make his first final. Smarzik's got it in the back. Barring any mechanical issues, Smarzik off the inside gate. Impeccable. What a race for second. One last blast now. Mickelson's gone tight. Madsen's coming round the outside. Run to the line. Which way is it going to go? Mickelson's in. Smarzik, the champion, the world champion's in as well. Here we go. Takes her up. Holder's made it off the inside. Oh, Mickelson. Mickelson. Whoa, what a start from gate number three. Couldn't win there all night long. He fires himself to the front. Holder in the second place. Smarzlik back in third. Mickelson has had a couple of really tough years. The only reason he's in the Grand Prix is because he won the European Championship. He's out in front. What a stunning start for Mikkel Mickelson from gate number three. Oh, great stuff from Mickelson. Absolutely superb. Came in tonight in tenth place. He'll be moving up the standings if he can hold on to this. He'll be hearing every noise now as Smarzlik. He's uh, doing his best there, but it's Jack Holder putting him under pressure around the inside. I think he's oh, going to stick to his guns. Here we go. Jack Holder coming on strong in second place. Mikkel Mickelson now slams the door shut. Just over a lap to go. Had to do that because Jack Holder was coming on so very strong in second place. What a moment this will be for Mikkel Mickelson. Oh, smart now. Oh, now. comes Holder. Holder back up the inside. Stunning speedway here in Germany tonight. But Mikkel Mickelson out of the last corner. What a moment for him. He wins in Germany. He wins his first Grand Prix. What a moment for Mikkel Mickelson. Oh, look at that.